What's up everyone, it's Zero Designs here and uh, welcome to another tutorial in uh, After Effects. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to create um, smooth keyframes and uh, we're going to do that. Um, I'm just going to hop right in, so that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to close that and create a new composition, uh, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second and 6 seconds will be fine. So let's zoom out, um, let's just create a new solid, so right click, new, solid, and the color does not matter. Then go to window and make sure effects and presets is ticked, and that's going to give you this little box, and then you're just going to search for gradient. That is going to give you the full color gradient, and we're just going to hop and put that on the little solid we just made. And uh, let's just change the color to a dark bluish near black color. And let's do that on all of them and uh, see what we get. So let's just change it to that color. Mm, maybe a bit lighter and then close to black. And another one and close to black. So there we go, we got our background set up. Uh, let's just drag these little things out a little bit and oh sorry and um, as you might see we got this little um, kind of background mess up but we're gonna fix that and uh, just pull up the jitter a little bit and that will get rid of that so there we go we got our background set up so um, let's just call that background um, oh shit um, let's just go back to our composition press out oh, that's not how it works here, um, that's a different program. So let's just rename that background. There we go. Um, what we're going to do now, we're going to create a little cube. Um, let's, let's just do a rounded cube, you know. And uh, double click that and that's going to get this big, big box. And rectangle, rectangle path. Let's make the size, let's make it uh, 400 by 400, that will do fine. And you might not see anything at the moment, that's because my fill is uh, disabled and my stroke is disabled. So let's just click on the word fill and um, just make it a solid color. There we go, and now we can uh, change the color to what we want. So let's go with the kind of, um, kind of a yellowish greenish color. That will look nice in this composition. There we go. And um, let's just keyframe that. So let's go go to size and uh, make it zero at the beginning. Um, drag your marker a bit forward and um, make it 400. So there we go. We got our very basic animation. As you can see, it's nothing good. So um, let's just select both the keyframes and right click them. Um, here you have your presets. So um, easy ease, let's just click that and see what happens. So um, as you might see, it, um, it kind of comes in, accelerates, and once it, once it reaches the middle point, it's gonna decelerate and uh, slow down. So that's a real nice effect. Just to make it a bit more clear, this we're just gonna go to the graph editor and um, show the speed graph. And let's just select that and click that. So here you can see this is just speed. It accelerates and it slows down again. So that is our um, first preset. So that's the uh, first one that I wanted to show. So let's do another one. Uh, let's right click keyframe assistant easy in let's take a look i don't think that works for all keyframes i think you just have to select one and then go easy ease um easy in but we already easy ease this so this cannot be done so let's just disable that easy ease and select one and go to keyframe assistant and easy in so as you can see the speed graph it's um accelerates pretty quickly and then it gonna slowly slow down so that, that that already creates a nice smooth movement as you can see right here um, and the speed by the way that's just the speed that the animation is done so um, that is that you can try out your different ones um, let's just change it to an easy out now um, easy is out and um, check what that does doesn't do shit um, 
<laughs> I'm not too sure what happened there. Let's just uh, select that and uh, what do we have? Easy is out, easy is in. Oh, I think you have to select this one. And there you go. That is just kind of the easy and out. It's just the uh, beginning of this curve and the um, so just disable all of that and make it normal. It's just uh, there we go. Make it normal and then select this one, the first one, and uh, easy is out. And then you have kind of a reverse speed animation. So that is not what we're going to use, so uh, let's just disable that as well and select both of them and right click them keyframe assistant easy ease or you can press F9 so here we have our speed curve and um, before we go and edit that we want to make another keyframe and that is in the middle so um, just click this little um, add or remove keyframe from current time um, on a size parameter so let's just click that and there we go we got our new keyframe and now we can move this around uh, that's obviously not what we want but um, we can move this around without the other side of this keyframe getting changed so let's just select the last keyframe uh, press alt and arrow to the right and just keep clicking that until it goes down so there we go it goes down we might actually want to go ahead and um, make this other keyframe a bit back that would make it look nicer so uh, select the uh, last keyframe and alt and arrow to the right and just uh, keep doing that uh, until it goes like below this line so if you uh, need to make sure I think it's spot on uh, then I don't think it's below but if you keep pressing it as you can see the line is below that one and that is not what we want so um, there we go that's our first animation this is not what it's gonna look like guys um, because it might uh, not be smooth enough for what you want so uh, let's just try and uh, make this nice so uh, let's just select the second keyframe and uh, go to keyframe interpolation and make it a continuous BJ however you pronounce that so that's gonna enable you to make it smoothen out and uh, you just gotta try to make it a bit smoother oh wait up we need to uh, remove our time marker because it jumps to that so um, as you can see I think this is kind of smooth so let's just check how that goes so as you can see you got this smooth uh, pretty quick start and then it fades out slowly so that is very very smooth and um, that's what you want for this so um, this is my first part of um, to the intro tutorials and uh, I'll do uh, a lot more uh, so make sure to subscribe to my channel and um, get a notification when I upload them and uh, you might get better so um, this is just a little Thing. and of course you need for your project you need to make it a bit different and uh, play around with it so this is just the style you kind of want to create so uh, thank you for watching please like comment and maybe subscribe and I uh, thank you